Hey everyone, welcome back to A Mom For Every Season. If you're brand new, my name is Taryn and I am a mom of three little kiddos under the age of six. Um, and I would love for you to stick around, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, I will show you the books my kids are obsessed with right now. All so right, little Miss Avery woke up, so hopefully she's not too noisy now. So I, the first uh, books I'll go through are my youngest, um, and she is nine months. And of course, babies love books that have, you know, touchy-feelies and different textures and brightly colored. So right now, one of our new books right now is this one here. It's called My Magical Unicorn. And it's just a bright, sparkly book. Um, it has some tabs and little pullouts here. And it's just a beautiful book. So again, just brightly colored. That right now is one of our favorites. So we love Usborne books. Um, I have, we have quite a few, actually these all are originally my oldest daughter's books, but we have quite a few that's not my, like there's way more in the basement there. Um, but Avery's favorite book right now is this one. So that's not my baby. And again, it has like different textures. That's not my baby. It's, Teddy is too fluffy. So again, and then this is why she loves it, and I can show you a video of this, because she, you get to the end, and it's a little mirror. And I'm sure you can tell, but. <laughs> what are you doing? is this playbook here again it's an Usborne book um, this one has tons of little sounds on it just beautiful sounds and again all the pages are brightly col uh, colored and it has different little flaps like who's hiding if I can open it who's hiding um, and little peek, peek holes and finger trails and touchy feelies. Like it's just loaded with tons of fun little things. Work on their motor skills. And just every page is different themed. <coughs> That's what we do. Hey, you. Up front. Right, again, and different animal. There's little monkey sounds. I remember thinking when I first had my oldest, like I always wanted, for some reason, I always like valued books with words um, and thinking that, you know, it was worth more if they had like tons of words and you could read stories to them. But what I love about these is like, Babies, the whole reason to start reading to babies is just to make them fall in love with reading and just incorporate it into their lives so that they like love reading. So of course the baby's not gonna sit there and listen to a whole bunch of words. They want to like experience the book and chew on the book. Like Avery has like eaten this book. Um, I have another book that like, you know, my, I've had for all three kids now and like now that it's gotten to Avery, she's destroyed it. But. I mean, babies want to experience books and they want to like chew and, and again, just like have be, and they want it to be a little bit more interactive and stuff. And that's what's going to make them love books. And as I'm sitting here, she's chewing the baby book. And again, this one has been in our um, family since my oldest, like this is my oldest daughter's books. And um, this uh, Farm Your Tales has a whole series on it. Um, but again, so, and it's, there's only one cow in the barn, where's Daisy? And they get to open the flap. And it's also the first introduction to math because of course you can see that they're adding cows and then here they're adding pigs. There's only two pigs in the farm, or the pig pen. Where's Curly? And he's here. And they get, and there's also touchy feelies. There's flaps going different ways. Like that one goes to the left. This one goes to the right. Here we have different motor schools. This one goes down. Um, and again, touchy feely here. Where's Wooly? He, she's here. There's one here. And then every page um, has this little yellow duck that the kid, uh, toddlers or babies get to try and find. Um, which my son still loves this book, and he's almost three. 
Um, and we have other, another series, like the, this whole Us Born thing has a series of Farm Your Tales and it is definitely one of my kids' favorites. I have here, I have this one. So again, this has been, I mean, it's beaten up. Like this is like um, six years old because my daughter is six and there's just different stories here um, that my, I guess I can go into my next one here. Um, my son's favorite book right now is this one. We literally will read this every night, but there's different, I think, I'm not sure how many stories are in. The little yellow duck is on, on each page. Um, they love the characters, Poppy and Sam, and it's just story, fun filled stories, filled just funny little humorous stories. And actually I can also use this for my six year old too, because on, it's got paired reading here. Up here is a grade one level reading. To, my daughter could start reading this, and then if they, if we want to read more, and it's a more of a story, we can read the bottom here, because that's what a parent would read a book right now. And we've had to tape it, and it's just like, it's literally falling apart, but it's six years old, and it's still in our family. And I will keep this. I am not gonna get rid of this. I'm not gonna sell it. I'm gonna keep it until um, I have grandbabies, and they could read it, and like, I can hand it down, because we love this. Next up for my son is this one, because he is obsessed with Paw Patrol. So of course five minute stories Your kid uh, is obsessed with Paw Patrol put the little puppy emoji in the comments and Let me know because am I the only one that Mike like he loves Paw Patrol. He loves the show He loves everything Paw Patrol. He's gonna get a birthday cake. That's Paw Patrol come November um, So this is definitely one of our favorites Next one here is there's a whole series of these ones um, So you kids toddlers can learn their colors. There's colors um, What else is there? There's opposites book um, and there also is, oh, and then there's also a numbers one too that we have that's probably in the basement. Um, so again, um, it's it's there is, so in each page there's flaps. Um, and I love it because it's just different on every page. So who has the shaky mane and the yellow wagon? And the, the child or toddler can open the flap and pick it out. Or who's the huge one in the purple wagon? Um, and each page is different. Sorry, Avery's being really noisy. Um, so find these in the forest and say what color each one is. Um, so you gotta find the bird, and I believe the bird's here, and it's blue. What else? Match the bow ties so you can match the penguins. So you find the green fish and then match it, or match it with the green penguin. Busy town, just like, it's just chock full of stuff. Even mixing colors. Like, we love us for books. Um, color counting, so you get to count how many dark, so it gets into dark green and light green, dark colors, and then I've lost my, so then they find the item. Bear can't find his green and blue stripey boots. So again, we love these books. Um, they're chock full of like um, information and learning and just they're interactive. My my son, um, he, you know, he's, like kind of a typical busy boy, like he's very active and he actually didn't really enjoy reading books when he was younger, like around my daughter's age. And the, just the key is just to make reading fun, find the books that they love. Like my son is a huge, like at, when he was a baby, he loved sound books. So that was just something that like I really encouraged, like he loved pressing buttons and being a little bit more interactive. Like, whereas opposed to my oldest, my daughter, like when she was like nine months old or eight months old, like we would sit there and read and read and she'd love picture books and just sit there for like an hour. Whereas my son, I couldn't do that when he was around that age. Like he would just like read one or two books and just be off and running. So, but now, now he loves to read. Like we'll sit there and we could, you know, sit on the couch and read tons of books. So it definitely helps just to keep at it and just make reading fun and make, find the books that they love. All right, so I just have a couple for my daughter. Um, we, so she got this for Christmas last year, and so it's Rebel Girls, and it is like filled with just inspiring um, different women, entre entrepreneurs, scientists, just, I love it because it's just, it's not like the typical fairy tales where, you know, the princess is getting saved by the prince. Like these are all inspiring, heroic, heroic, um, women, entrepreneurs, scientists, like everything, authors, astronomers, just, and they're all beautifully, um, beautifully illustrated, and I believe it's a different, 
um, illi like illustrator on each page. I do believe there is a second edition, um, which we will definitely be getting for her for this Christmas as well. Of course, my daughter is in grade one. She's learning how to read. So we love these. I actually bought this before when she, I think she was three. Um, there's just this whole set. It starts off um, with level one where, oh my gosh, you're too noisy, girl. Um, so level one, the parent would read this one and then the child starts to learn these ones. So, so each book adds in a different letter. So these letters are the ones practiced in this book. And then as it progresses, of course, the child learns or reads more. And all right, so in the, so there, I believe there are 15 of the fir very first reading. So this is all paired reading. All right, and then as they, you know, learn more to, or learn more and they gain more confidence and it goes up into the first reading or the first reading level one and level two. And I believe there are 12 of these and another 16 of these ones. Um, and again, it's just more words because as the child gains more confidence and they learn how to read more and more. And she's getting into the toy box. <laughs> if you have a budding little reader that is learning how to read, then definitely check out these ones. Rather than buying a ton of books individually, you get 50 books in this whole set, so. All right, if you found this video useful and you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Um, and if you're brand new, I would love for you to subscribe and join. I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, organization, everything in between. So make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified so you don't miss any new upcoming videos. Um, I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.